Have you ever heard about Shannon's channel coding theorem? No? Don't worry. In this video, we will explain it to you. Channel capacity can be understood as the maximum amount of information that can be transmitted and fully recovered in a specific channel. It was introduced by Claude Shannon in 1948. To make it more interesting, Alice and Bob will help us to understand it. Bob is the first robot participating in a TV show to prove his artificial intelligence. Alice is Bob's inventor. She knows Bob is not as good as she claims. To win the prize, Alice will tell Bob the answers over the secret earphone. However, the band Eve is playing in the show and is making a lot of noise, making it difficult for Bob to understand what Alice is saying. Welcome everyone to Fun with Robots. Today, competing for 1 million liters of oil, we have Bob the Robot. That's all I have dreamed about. Let's start with the first question. What does a thirsty person need? Water. But Eve is playing very loud, and Bob actually hears. Oh, there. The amount of information from Alice is related to the entropy of her message. But what is entropy? Putting it in simple words, entropy is how many bits you need, on average, to represent the small blocks that build your message. In our story, syllables are the basic blocks of Alice's message. Suppose Alice can speak 65,536 different syllables. If we use bits to represent each syllable, we will have 16 bits per syllable. In a quiet place, Bob can understand everything Alice says, being able to get all the 16 bits in each syllable. The channel from Alice to Bob is noiseless. In practice, we usually have a noisy channel. The noise in the background makes sounds indistinguishable and noise undermines the information that Alice transmits. Now, 16 bits per syllable is too much information for transmission to Bob, that is, through our channel. While the noise cannot be eliminated, our goal is to let Bob receive Alice's information as much as possible. The maximum number of bits we could transmit per syllable with arbitrarily low error probability is called the capacity of the channel. Let's assume that in our story the capacity is only 4 bits per syllable. So how can we avoid most errors in syllables and reach such capacity? Shannon said, encode the message with channel codes. Channel codes add redundancy to the message and enable detection and correction of errors. The simplest channel code is the repetition code. It repeats the same message many times and receives the message that has the most frequency. Given the capacity of 4 bits per syllable, 16 bits per syllable divided by 4 bits means 4 transmissions per syllable. Therefore, we will need to repeat each syllable on average 4 times for successful transmission. In the story, Alice told Bob that she will keep speaking at the same rate, but will repeat the syllable for four times. Wah, 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 ter, 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 ter. Bob hears. Wah, fu, wah, wah, ter, 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 ter. Water. You will guess it as wa, ter, since fol and der are less frequent. Amazing! You made it! You proved you're an intelligent machine. Bob can always guess the word right if the repetition rate is tuned below the channel capacity, which means a syllable should be repeated at least four times. If the noise becomes louder and capacity decreases below four bits per syllable, four repetition times would be insufficient, since it is more likely that Bob could have heard fall and der more frequently and guessed the wrong word folder. On average, the guesses Bob makes can only be as good as the noise allows. Shannon told us that to ensure no errors, the information rate we transmit should be no greater than the capacity. Nowadays, many researchers try to find better and better codes that can realize capacity achieving transmission. At least in our story, Bob managed to win the competition Thank you.